It plays our custom music. I'm also going to turn down my jukebox because it's a little bit too loud for me. Because I'm, I'm wearing Turtle Beaches right now. Alright, so you've got two different... When you first joined in the server, you got two different choices. You've got Vita and Mortem. Now, as you can see, there's a quit button here, and it has a notice saying that you can only use it once. So go ahead, don't click any of the teams right now. For this demonstration, for this tour, you're not going to click any of them. So Mortem is the god of death, and Vita is the god of life, and the factions, there are two of them, which is Mortem and Vita, and you have to uh, join one of those two teams. Now, something that we've done is that there are only those two teams available. You can only pick Mortem and Vita. You can't create your own faction. Also, you can't leave your faction once you join it. The only way that you can leave your faction is within the first eight hours of gameplay, and you and you right-click this sign to quit your faction. This is, this is done so that uh, way we don't get a whole bunch of new people just coming in and then just trashing the place and then moving over to the next faction or or to also keep people from over time getting disgruntled with the faction and, and just wanting to switch factions and betray so and so by removing the ability it, it and it also fits the server theme also so I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to give you fly for a short minute just so that you can look at what's beyond this room. So this this whole entire spawn is a lot bigger than what you're actually looking at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you fly and what this place is is actually the trade hub and located in the center of the world. The, sir, uh, the spawn? Atlantis. Oh yeah, we kind of were going for uh, kind of a Skyrimish feel. Um, I'm gonna also show you something that's gonna be closed off, but something we plan to open up later. So if you fly down here, well, actually, nah, I wouldn't do that. I'd want to hear your. I would want to hear your reasons though. So down here, this is not finished yet, but this is going to be an expanded area. Um, so the whole point of this, um, hold on, let me go ahead and head back up to the top. The whole point of this um, area here is actually going to be the main central hub where all the trading is supposed to be done, like in RuneScape, the Grand, uh, the, the grand Exchange. All right, so uh, I just teleported you right back up on top. And you're actually flying in, in the opposite direction of the best stuff. <laughs> the, the, the best piece is actually this middle, is actually this middle structure here, uh, especially the upstairs and actually inside the lighting design is really, really nice. Purely by hand, most of it. Well, nope, just her. She, I am not a builder. I am not a builder. She is, she's the architect, not me. Uh, everything, um, well, okay, so world edit was used. As you can see, it's, there's two halves, so they're not identical. So she would build, she built one half and then rotated it to the other side. So she built the entire, she built half of the entire thing and then rotated it to the other side. Um, also, you got these balconies up here too. That's really cool. Now this is just going to be the main hub of commerce. This is uh, just where the players go. Um, there's also going to be 
No, no, no. There, there's also other things that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and show you Mortem. There's going to be a trailer for Mortem, Vita, and the main server. That way, each uh, trailer is like a recruitment. Um, and something we also want is because there's only two different factions, um, and you can't create any, people are going to want to fight over the new members because the only way to win the server, to win the end goal, the, the game, is by having the most members. Whichever team has the most land claimed by the end wins. So when, uh, so when you're exploring the world, you'll find these uh, beacons, these white beacons and these outposts on both continents. There are two different continents. Right now we're on the Mordom continent. There's a Vita continent as well. But when you're running through, you'll see these beacons and they'll be these broken down towns. And these broken down towns will have uh, loot inside of them. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can change the music. So come over here so you can hear it. Give me a sec while I figure out how to change it. Okay, now I can change it because the, the song stopped playing. Come on, come on. Give me a sec. All right, so right now what you're hearing is the contested land music. Whenever you come to an outpost, it'll be playing this music. Kind of giving it more of an edge and more of a um, scary feel to it. Yep, each one of these each one of these contested areas or unclaimed outposts will um, uh, will spawn tons of enemies. Each, each one of them is pretty much a mob uh, mob grinder or a mob arena. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heal you. All right, now I'm gonna change it today, and then also. All right, go ahead and take a look at the town really quick while I revert it back. Well, I actually built this, I actually built this particular outpost using builds that we already had available to us. All right, so that is that is one of the four outposts on this continent. Now, uh, what I was saying about these outposts also having player plots around them, when the main spawn fills up with, uh, with uh, people, uh, what can end up happening is people will be able to claim plots outside of outposts. Or heck, anywhere as long as they follow the 16 by 16 grid, they can have a house pretty much wherever they want. They just have to make sure that it's approved uh, by the faction leader. All right, so moving on to the next thing. Uh, you remember your coin, right? Do slash buy. And then go uh, click the um, ender chest, the coin shop. So what the coin does is it's a separate form of currency and located inside of outposts, especially uncontested ones. Um, um, also inside of claimed ones, inside of the outposts, inside of the chest restock, there are a bunch of coins. So, uh, so what it is is players will want to go to the outposts to grab these coins. You can also get coins from doing quests. And you can also get coins other means as well. And what these coins allow you to do is buy kits. So instead of spending money on kits, you're spending stuff that you've earned in game. Yeah. 
All right. Now, one more thing. Um, if, once you join a god, once you join a faction, either Mortem or Vita, you earn these things called faith points. And these are another form of currency. Do slash FPS. Now, I currently don't have any faith points available or else I'd show you how they work. Um, but, but what these are is you'll notice that I have a level next to my next to my name if you hit tab or if you're looking directly at me. I'm level 15. If you do slash MC stats like this, then it'll show your current level. Oh, wait, wait. Stats with an S. Sorry. And it'll show your, your current on time, how many blocks you've placed, broke in mind, all these different things. Through playing the game, you'll automatically level up. And through leveling up, you'll be able to use different faith point abilities. One of the ones that we plan to do in the near future um, is actually making it so that, imagine this, you're in danger. You have really awesome gear, but you're no match against these six other players that are teaming up on you. So you're in huge amounts of trouble. You run to a semi-secluded location and you pop yourself up a bubble shield, a shield that surrounds you made out of obsidian and gives you just enough time to teleport away. Very, very Asian. So I'll let you go ahead and fly around. Uh, one of the other custom things that we're implementing is a, um, because we don't want much staff, because the biggest problem why we don't want staff is uh, staff may be good. Uh, they could be awesome. But the problem is not with the staff, not necessarily, but with the, the players. There are players out there who purposely make it their mission to abuse the staff members or to get them to quit or to get them banned. And then also, oftentimes, um, moderators make mistakes because they're human. And so what we've done is we've as much of the power to the players as possible so we don't have to have any staff. We are making a custom vote ban command that will allow um, the majority of users on the server to temporarily ban another player so long as everyone votes. So what the vote ban will allow people to do is to ban um, somebody for 30 minutes, just long enough for uh, for an admin or or you know um, one of the four owners to get on. Because there's technically four owners: there's me, Zandalin, Xpod, and um, actually EG Prince. He. He's uh, going to be the uh, the Mortem leader. All right. So um, talked about the – okay, let me go ahead and actually show you the jail really quick. Something that I really hated about most servers is like how jails look like – oh, by the way, that's the bell. Do you hear, do you hear the bell now? Uh, come up here. Can you hear it? It's really quiet. Sad that you can't hear it. Anyway, this redstone, this redstone contraption plays uh, the uh, the bell music. It makes the town feel more alive.